Allison's family is not giving up hope that her killer will be found. This is police try to find a key clue by taking an unusual step in their investigation. Scottsdale, Arizona detectives going door to door, collecting DNA samples in their search for the killer responsible for Allison Feldman's murder two years ago. A case with no arrests and no suspects, but one key piece of evidence, the killer's DNA. With no DNA match in the database, Scottsdale police are asking members of the community to voluntarily submit a sample of their DNA. At this point, it's sort of uh, used as a rule out method as well as a, as, uh, this could be our person. The request raising legal concerns by some. This, to me, is a textbook random and arbitrary search that is unconstitutional and unlawful. Investigators doing these DNA comparisons because they collected a sample from the person they suspect is the killer, who they say was cut in the act of the crime. They're also asking neighbors for those samples because they believe that Allison Feldman may have known her killer, and there is a $10,000 reward for any information leading ultimately to an arrest, a break in this case.